Yeah. Is my screen visible? Yes. Yeah, All right. I'll quickly uh, brush over things. So today in this presentation, I'll be talking about dysarthria, the management of speech and language disorders that including aphasia, dysarthria, and apraxia. And then I'll quickly brush over dysphagia also. So coming to dysarthria, dysarthria is a motor speech impairment. As Prajakta has mentioned, in dysarthria, the language comprehension part is completely intact. It is just the motor speech impairment that the articulation and the other systems are affected. Usually we term it or coin it as slower speech and it is one of the most common first signs of the stroke. It can result from impairment in the motor neurons, the uh, neuromuscular junction, brain area supporting speech feedback or the speech musculature itself. It can affect any of the speech subsystems, especially respiration, phonation, articulation, resonance and prosody. Now dysarthria is classified depending on the neuroanatomical structures so first coming to flaccid dysarthria. Flaccid dysarthria is caused by damage to the upper mo uh, motor neurons with the PNS or the FCP, that is the lower motor neurons. A brain stroke can affect the cranial nerves directly as the cranial nerves are located within the brain stem. It is usually termed as bulbar palsy. The distinguishing characteristics being hypernasality and breathy voice quality and imprecise consonants. Monopitch and loudness are diminished or absent oral reflexes, nasal emissions, communication in short phrases, and audible inspiration. Here, hypernasality and breathy voice quality are the most distinguished characteristics of this type of dysarthria. Now, coming to spastic dysarthria. Spastic dysarthria is caused by bilateral damage to upper motor neurons. Both the pyramidal and the extramural neural pathways have to be damaged in, uh, in, to cause the spastic dysarthria. Here, the distinguishing characteristic being imprecise consonants and strain and strangle voice quality. In flaccid, we saw it is more of the uh, hoarse voice quality, but here it is more of strain and strangle voice quality. You'll see the patient you not know, trying too effortful to have a communication or to talk. To talk. They also have reduced stress, hyperreflexes. Here, you see a pseudobulbar, uh, pseudobulbar effect and drooling, monopitch, slow rate of speech, excess and equal stress, and hypernasality. Now coming to the unilateral upper motor neuron dysarthria, it is caused by damage, as the name suggests, unilateral upper motor neuron. Uh, here usually, usually this is found with uh, um, Broca's aphasia. So if you have the left motor, uh, left MC infarct, you will usually end up seeing the UUMN uh, dysarthria. Here, the distinguishing characteristic being unilateral weakness on lower face and tongue on the contralateral side, reduced range of motion, uh, imprecise articulations, mild hypernasality, harsh voice, and reduced loudness. Here, if the left hemisphere is damaged, it can co occur with aphasia or apraxia of speech, that is the Broca's aphasia. And if right hemisphere is damaged, it can co occur with cognitive and visual deficits. Coming to ataxic dysarthria. Here, the cerebellum is damaged. It has to be a bilateral damage or at least at the juncture of both the, uh, where both the lobes connect. That is called as the vomus. Uh, distinguishing characteristic being the imprecise consonants and vowel production. Usually, the drunken speech or slurred speech is seen here. Irregularity arterial backgrounds, disordered vowel production, prolonged phonemes, prolonged intervals, monopitch, monoloudness, and slow rate of speech. Now, coming to hyperconnect dysarthria, you usually see the Parkinsonism symptoms. Uh, stroke usually does not cause hypo hyperconnected dysarthria, but sometimes in very rare cases, you may see that. Sometimes what you can see is the, the Parkinsonian sy symptoms become very much evident post a stroke. Uh, so the features here you are to see is reduced loudness, short rushes of speech, Monopitch or low pitch, imprecise consonant production. You usually see IA kinesia and harsh or breathy voice quality also. Again, with hyperkinetic dysarthria, uh, it is caused due to damage in vasal ganglia. But again, single stroke cannot cause hyperkinetic dysarthria. It is very rare, very rare, but it may cause uh, the distinguishing characteristic being involuntary movements at rest during speech, articulatory breakdowns, imprecise consonant production, voice stoppages variable pitch, inappropriate silences, and excess and equal stress.